so much for Megs and Brady for putting this together. Um, so you guys have no idea how um, events like this are really going to transform your business. So invest in yourself. Be proud of yourselves for being here today because it takes courage to come to something you've never come to before. Um, it takes courage to come when you don't know to people, right? When you come and you're, you maybe see them online, but you've never met them before. So be proud of you just sitting in this chair. Because there was, how between our team pages, how many people, and look at who showed up, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. So you already have set yourself apart, so be proud of that and own it, okay? So for those that don't know who I am, my name is Carly Prince. I, yeah, I live locally to here. I'm um, with West of Lacombe. I do have four kids. My life is pretty crazy. <laughs> Jen, I totally hear you when you say you lost yourself. Um, that's what I did, right? I completely lost myself, and this business, yeah, see, Brady started something. <laughs> <laughs> this business is what gave me my me back, all right? And so today I'm going to be talking about sponsoring, and before you guys get all squirmy in your chairs and try to hide, because this is one of those things that people don't like to do in their business, but it's also the very thing that's going to literally set you free and help as many women as you possibly can. You wouldn't be here today if somebody didn't either offer the opportunity or post about something or you saw something that sparked inside of you, right? All right? So how many of you guys here um, have that, or at one point in your life, or through your journey here, have like doubted yourself as a sponsor or thought that you weren't enough or that people wouldn't join you? Blah, 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 all these things. Like, keep your hand up for a minute. So look around the room, look around the room. It's literally every single one. So know that you're not alone in this, all right? And I'm, my hope for you guys today is to give you a few simple, tangible tips of what has helped me. I'm not one of the sponsoring superstars, but it comes consistently, okay? So I haven't sponsored like 100 people in a month or all, like you hear those astronomical numbers, right? But over the four years, I didn't really start this business till about three and a half, so those three and a half years, I have consistently brought in, I have over 212, about, yeah, 212 that I've personally sponsored. So over that time, that average is about five a month. Some months is 25. Some months is amazing. So it's to be able to constantly have people come into your business. Um, so I just want, you guys want to hear some of the tips that I have? <laughs> All right, so I have these because I want to be able to make sure that I'm giving you guys good points. So I, I didn't give you papers. You guys can write this down because I feel like when you hear it, write it down, then you can go home and let it soak in a little bit. Um, what was it, the convention stat was basically, like 90%, you retain way more information when you take it in and go home and reteach it to someone else. So yep. take it to your teams, okay? Because you will like live and breathe it then and kind of mm -hmm. let it sink in a little bit more. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your mindset, all right? In this business, it affects the vast majority of everything, all right? It is um, the number one thing that I feel is super important. If you don't come at sponsoring with the undeniable belief that what we have here is truly a gift to offer, um, you're missing the whole point, okay? I know when I first started, I was just like trying to get anybody to join my team, right? Like just wanted to have that one person or reach those fast starts and reach those milestones, but I made it more about me, right? I'm sure some of you can relate to that when you kind of you start, you just want to get that person on your team, right? Um, but I wasn't really focusing on how I could help other people and serve other people. And as soon as I shifted that mindset of how I can help more women feel more amazing, it doesn't have to be like Brady said, these big astronomical whys, but the way I feel inside, more women need to feel that way mm -hmm. because the way I used to feel isn't okay, you know? Yeah. Like what, yeah, Jen, all of you, I'm sure have felt that way at some point or another, all right? And that's why I lead with that is I genuinely want to help more women feel the way I feel inside, okay? Because you deserve to. More women deserve to. We're so hard on ourselves, right? So um, the one thing that I, the analogy that I always use in my business too is like having that mindset of it's hard to sponsoring people and we feel like we're dragging people or you know all that kind of stuff, right? If you can go and think about it, planting your seeds daily to reap the harvest later on, I always like using the bamboo analogy. Have you guys heard of the bamboo tree? Okay, so Bamboo farmers, wherever they are, they plant their seeds and they water those seeds daily for like five years. Five years without seeing anything sprout up. Nothing. But they have the undeniable belief that their root system is growing under the soil. So they show up every single day and water those seeds and hope and have the faith that something will sprout. But once they start growing, within months they shoot up hundreds of feet, you guys. Hundreds of feet. So you don't know 
When you think of um, sponsoring with your business, all those seeds that you're going to plant daily, use that analogy and be like, okay, I'm going to plant them now, we'll keep watering, keep watering, and eventually it's going to come. Okay, because that's how this business is with anything. So come at it from that type of mindset and use the bamboo analogy as a good <coughs> reminder that those seeds you're planting now, you're going to reap the harvest far, far later on. Okay, that's how sponsoring is. That is great. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? I've never that heard of that. <laughs> yeah, so actually a, a video, a short, I could make, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I heard it a long time ago and it stuck with me. Yeah. So yeah. that's one thing I wanted to share with you guys. Like you can go and find as many tips and tricks on sponsoring as you possibly can on our website, on YouTube. But I want to share with you like truly what has helped me. And hopefully that will speak to you guys. Um, maybe it won't. <laughs> but maybe there'll be some tad tidbits that you'll learn today and take home with you. Okay? So the other thing that I wanted to mention, um, I don't know if it's a key component, but it's something that I had a, a shift in and kind of like a light bulb moment. Uh, have you guys heard of Deb Erickson? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she, if you haven't heard of her, that's okay, but go check her out on Facebook, Deb Erickson. She is um, basically a network marketing coach for women. Um, she has free trainings every Friday, but I pay for her other training as well. And so, she's absolutely fabulous, but the one video that I watched the one day was, she was talking about, I am a 10, okay, and I'll get to that in a second, but she said, okay, first of all, if you were to rate what your sponsoring level is right now, where would you put yourself from, like a 1 to a 10, would you... Being like 10, like you're confident, you can go at this, you know that you're going to show up every day. Where would you put yourself from a 1 to 10? Be honest and write that number down. Be honest with yourself. Because this is what I did when I heard this. I was like, oh, okay. Put this number down, and it was nowhere near where I needed to be, okay? So write that number down and commit to making it higher, okay? And I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But um, we want to find those people that are going to be the 10s, that are going to be the 8s, the 9s. Those are the people who are entrepreneurs, they're driven, they're, they already have that mindset of that they want that success, or maybe they already have success. They're usually the scary Marys <laughs> that we don't want to send messages to, all right? They're not the people who, not saying that the people who are less than that, because I don't want it to be like a more and less type of a thing, but maybe um, I, I put myself at a 7 when I did this activity, all right? And so I was kind of thinking, Okay, like she's saying that I will never sponsor higher than where I'm rating myself, right? And so I would be sponsoring like the four, five, sixes. Nothing wrong with these ladies, but they're just not at the mindset shift that they need to be to be entrepreneurs in this business. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. So I can find that video and share it with you because I'm not going to go into great detail, but it was like a light bulb moment for me of where I needed to be. I wasn't where I needed to be in this business, I guess, to sponsor the quality of people that I wanted to bring on. And now I'm kind of picky with who I send messages to. And, but at the beginning, I was just like digging in the dirt, sifting for people. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Whoever popped up kind of a thing. <laughs> Join your team. But, um, so, but you'll get to a point where if I can instill some of this right now to build your confidence up and give you some of those tangible tips that you can walk away from, my hope is that you will not maybe leave here believing you're a 10, but saying, I am a 10 and I'm going to be a 10. Be a sponsoring beast, OK? So I'm going to make you say that at the end. But <laughs> be prepared. All right, um, so basically when I talk about the, the um, sifting through the dirt and finding people, like I felt like for so long in my business, I was like picking up these chickens and seeing if they fly. And then I don't know if you guys have heard the chicken and eagles analogy too, but you pick up these chickens and then you toss them and then they just keep coming back out. <laughs> and you're like, okay, come on, let's keep going, you know? But you want to find the people who are your eagles, okay? The people who are just going to soar because they have a why, like Brady talked about, deep enough that they don't need you to hold their hand. They, the tools are all there for them, right? But instead, I've spent so much time waste, not wasting, because that's not the proper word, but <laughs> too much time on the chickens instead of finding the eagles, okay? So think about that in your business, too. And you never know, you guys. I, for those that don't know, I was a psychiatric nurse in Red Deer here. I worked on the child adolescent psych unit for 11 years. I had an amazing career. I was the typical person that you would not give this opportunity to, okay? I poo-pooed this business. I was like, that's ridiculous. And I rolled my eyes at the um, 3D fiber lashes. Like everything that possibly you could have, I thought it. So I get where I used to be and where I am now. And so never discount those professionals or those people um, who you're too scared to send the messages to. Because if I wasn't given the opportunity, I would, wouldn't be here today and neither would you, all right? And so those people who you're too scared to send the messages to, this could very well be mm -hmm. something that they, that could set them free. You don't know what's going on behind you, right? So just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so another key component that I feel like 
is important to talk about mindset, kind of getting your, um, into that I am intent and sponsoring people who you want in this business who are going to work and kind of shifting to that. The other thing is, is like the vibration. What are you giving out, um, like that energy that you have? Are you a Debbie Downer? Are you, a, like instead of filling, being a fountain, are you a drain kind of a thing? Like attracts like, okay? <coughs> the attraction, the law of attraction says that you, whatever you're putting out, you're gonna get back, okay? And so if you have your Facebook wall completely negative or any of that kind of stuff, that's what you're gonna get back to you. You're gonna get the people that join your team that aren't motivated that are the Debbie Downers, that are, you're gonna get that, okay? Does that make sense? So they check yourself and say, because it can happen really slowly, those little shifts turning into negative. I always thought I was a positive person, but things happen and all that kind of stuff, and slowly, slowly you kind of get down in that little spiral, and all of a sudden you're at the bottom looking up like, how did I get here, kind of thing. So check yourself and what you're projecting out there, because that's what you're gonna get back, okay? Our wall, our Facebook wall, is our storefront. You guys have heard that, I'm sure, too. Right, so the second we literally um, si click that sign up button, um, yeah, it becomes our storefront. It's no different than somebody that owns a restaurant, that owns a boutique. You want it to be inviting to come to, you want it to feel positive, you want the feeling that those people have when they come to you to be good ones, okay? Because that's what they're gonna remember. Okay, then into my fourth one, we have to get um, be really good storytellers, okay? The Air Gore is really big on this. Um, so if you've watched any of his trainings, um, you will know that he says, you need to get good at telling stories, okay? And if you feel that maybe you aren't at the level where you've had the success that you want, you still have stories and little pain points that you can share with other people. So on your Facebook wall, for example, even just getting your Tim Hortons coffee, like there's people who can't afford that $3 or whatever it is to buy a coffee, you know what I mean? <coughs> share it and be like, I got banging lashes and money, Tim Hortons. It's like all those things, right? That you can say and share with people that are going to help um, them see the different things that they can have from this business. It doesn't have to be a, a car bonus, all right, if you're not there yet, but you can damn well share someone else that had that same story, do you know what I mean? So it's not that you have to have your own story, you can collect stories from other people and share them on your wall. I post on my Facebook page at least three or four times a week some kind of story, okay? Um, and it, it's, I try to, I don't know if you guys have heard of Big Al, Love Languages book, but if you haven't, I suggest reading it. The Audible is a little boring, so maybe listen to, or actually read it, just so you know. But it has such good um, tips in there on how to like pick pick things from each different love language that you can be posting on your wall. So <coughs> once in a while, I'll post about, say, the Unique Foundation. This is gonna get people who are the helpers, the doers, that kind of a thing. And then I'll post about, yeah, the car bonus that I got in the vehicle. I didn't post the vehicle, because the vehicle wasn't the thing. It was a picture of me holding the keys. Oh. You know what I mean? And it evoked the emotion, because the type of vehicle didn't matter. But the fact that I was able to get that was huge for me, and I wanted to share that. You know, you can evoke that story, right? And um, I'm not saying that you have to have a car bonus in order to share that, but that's gonna show someone else that's like, damn, I really need a new vehicle. You know what I mean? Or that type of a thing. Share your stories or share someone else's that maybe have been on a different journey than you, okay? So pull from those. Become really good at t sharing these stories. It doesn't have to be a big, long book, you guys. It could be that you're at the, like getting a pedicure or with for those people who will be leaving this week going to Cancun share about that because there's so many people who never ever ever get to go on trips I was one of them and this is my fourth fourth trip that I that I'll be going on right and I never imagined I'd be able to go on a yearly vacation let alone all the other trips in between right so you can have that and even if you're not going to Cancun share someone else who's there and be like I can't wait to get to the Bahamas next year you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So those are all those things that you can tell a story on your page, and it's that attraction marketing that you don't know who's watching. I know that, you, well, I didn't know you were watching me, neither you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, mean you, I didn't know that they were watching it. it you know, it just, it, something that I said spoke to them at some point or another, probably over a few times, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to join, kind of a thing. So you just never, ever know. Okay, so actually I was going to post on my, oh, you have my phone. You can't post. I can't post. <laughs> okay, so shoot. after after you I should have thought of that before. I was gonna post it in the group. I have scripts of people who have sent me messages that um, literally I know I posted them in the team page. Hey, you wanna find them on the team page? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I put like it was um, I forget what I searched to find them. Um, 
don't do this or something like that. <laughs> anyway, if not, that's okay. But um, these ladies approached me over time. I get them quite often, actually. And there was one who had basically said, Hi, Carly, how are you? Da, 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 da. I hope your summer's going good. Um, have you ever thought of selling Sensi? And they're just like, da, da, da. I'm going on, oh, like it was just all this crap. I read like three sentences and I was like, for me, like, come on, kind of a thing. Those are the things that people, when they're first starting, when they don't know better, that's what they do. They get so excited, they want to share everything, and they just like word vomit on everyone. All right? And so I kind of wanted to show you guys what not to do before I tell you what I do do. Then there was another one who, um, she, yeah, messaged me about Rodan and Fields or whatever it was, and I just said, sorry, I'm not interested, basically that type of thing. And, like, nobody went on my wall to say, like, hey, I noticed you have four kids. Like, how was your summer? How was, you know what I mean? Like, nobody, not one of them, has ever um, tried to get to know me or made a previous conversation to get to know me. There was absolutely zero connection. It was just straight to business. You would never walk up to someone on the street and be like, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. Like, you would never do that, all right? So you've got to keep it conversational when you're meeting with these people and sending a messenger. Um, one thing that I actually do do is I actually record it in a video and I send a personal message to them. So they see my face, they see my eyes, they see my excitement, they see it. And I send them five a day. And yes, sometimes it's super <laughs> scary. Um, but I, I'll give you a system of what I use to send to these people in a second. But I just wanted to, yeah, share with you guys what not to do in order so that you can learn from that. You want to evoke the feelings of that you genuinely care about this person, that you really, truly want to um, give them something. Like, we have a gift to offer, right? And we just really want to embody what we have to give to them. And it's not about us, okay? You don't need to talk about the trips you burn. You don't need to talk about this and this and this and this. It's not about you. It's about them. <laughs> Get to know them and make connections with them, okay? So... The system that I use, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them before, but they work, and that's why I wanted it to, to my topic, for my, what was my title, Don't Overthink It? Don't overthink Something it. like that, yeah. So, to not overthink <laughs> it, right? Um, I feel like the vast majority of people think it over and over and over until they talk themselves out of it, because you're like, well, she's not going to do it anyway, move on to the next one, right? <laughs> we overthink it all the time, and the process does not have to be that complicated, okay? So, has anyone heard of the three C's? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are lots of people who have it, and that's okay. But that's why I wanted to share it with you. This is literally what I do, okay? So the three C's are crazy, compliment, confidence, okay? Crazy, compliment, confidence, for those that um, want to write it down. Okay, it's short, it's sweet, it's personal. And so say somebody posted a really nice selfie on um, what that I'm friends with. I would say, like, damn, girl, <laughs> that picture that you put, or I usually use their name. I don't say girl, but I'll just use that for now. Um, Damn girl, that selfie that you posted was absolutely stunning. I admire your work ethic and I think you're so inspiring. Have you ever thought of doing what I do? Or have you ever thought of, you know, whatever you want to say? What did you say to her? I don't even know. No, what did you, because you shared what you said. Like, why haven't you started this? Or something like that, right? Why aren't you doing this with me? Yeah, yeah like you can easily yeah. be straightforward like that if it's somebody that you built a, business, or a connection with. Like, why aren't you doing this with me? Kind of a thing, right? But the three C's, crazy, compliment, confidence. It works every time for any situation. Mm -hmm. So it could be a hostess who's <coughs> active in your parties. It could be, it doesn't just have to be from a selfie, but you always um, say hi, connection, and build that, like give them the compliment, and say it with confidence, because why aren't you doing this with me, basically, right? You're crazy not to. It works, and it's awesome, but at nine times out of 10, if not 100%, you will always, always, always get an objection back. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> what are the objections we hear, right? Like, I don't have time. I don't, I don't, don't wear makeup. I don't know, la, 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 right? All those things. And so, yeah, the three C's helps with it. offering opportunity, but what I use to handle the objections, again, is from Get Over Your Damn Self. When Brady said that book, like, honestly, you guys read that book if you haven't. It's highlighted like crazy for me. I teach it to my team all the time, to newbies. It's amazing, okay? Um, but what she talks about is the three F's, okay? So feel, felt, found. So we have the three C's to offer their opportunity, but we need to come back with the objection because you know you're going to hear it. Just be prepared for it, okay? You're very rarely there. You're going to get, yes, sign me up. You know, you're always going to get an objection. So get used to this system, okay? The three F's are feel, felt, found, okay? You're going to relate to them. Um, you're going to say what I, like, I felt the same way and what I found was, all right? So we'll say somebody <coughs> says, I don't have the time. I would just say, I totally know exactly what you're meaning. I, I used to feel the exact same way. But what I found was, um, I can put, use my, or do my business from anywhere and have in 15 minute increments and make my own schedule. So it actually works pretty sweet with my busy schedule. 
something along those lines, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't just end it there, because if you end it there, they're going to be like, mm -hmm. <coughs> and not like, okay, that's great. And then you got to come back with like the question so that they come back with you. So I always then offer a third-party tool. If you don't have one, your upline will. So ask them, okay? And so I always say, <coughs> if I were to send you a quick, short video clip uh, to answer a few more questions, would you be willing to listen? <coughs> watch, I say listen. Because watch, just for some reason, they feel like they have to keep time away. So I always say listen. Um, and that just opens up another question, and it opens up with the next step of the conversation, okay? So that you can take it that one step further. I feel like most of the time people are like, okay, now I don't know what to say. Kind of a thing, right? So take it that one step further and offer the third question. <coughs> and like I said, reach out to your upline to find um, they will have one, okay? If not, go find Kelsey Stacy has one too. I use that for a long time too, all right? So go find one. All right. So I just wanted to, yeah, that honestly, you guys, that's the system that I use. It's not overly complicated, but sponsoring isn't. The reason why we sponsor <coughs> is our own fears that we subject into it, it's the stories that we already make up in our head of what they're going to say to us before we've even opened their mouth, mm -hmm. right? We do that, <laughs> you know? You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the self-limiting beliefs that we aren't good enough <coughs> or that you can't be a leader, all those things. You don't have to be a leader to have people join your team. You can say, let's do this together. And in fact, I think, honestly, it's better if you don't pretend to know it all and all those things, right? Learn together. We're here to grow. And, um, I, I just want to instill the belief in each one of you that you can be a sponsoring beast. You can do this, and it will literally set you free the more that you can focus on other people and that service that you're giving to help more women, okay? Shift your mindset, and I truly believe you guys will be sponsoring beasts if you can implement this and just commit and decide that you're going to send those messages. That's the biggest thing. We are, um, like, we are our own entrepreneurs. Nobody's over our heads saying you have to send these. You have to do it. You've got to show up daily and commit. And you can't ask your team to do things you're not willing to do. So you should be the top sponsor, the top um, in PRS, or you should be paving the way so that they know what to do and sharing what you do. It's duplicatable, it's easy, and I promise you guys can do it. So we, I know we believe in you. Um, so go out there and be fucking beast, okay? So stand up, because you guys just got to stand up for a while. <laughs> um, you guys are going to say this until you're through in the face, over and over and over again, okay? Yeah, Carrie, you don't have to. <laughs> but um, say, I am a 10. I am a 10. I'm going to sponsor 10s. I'm going to sponsor 10s. I'm going to sponsor, you can say badass if you want, but sponsor the beast, okay? I'm sponsoring badass. <laughs> so literally. But literally those I am statements, say them until over and over and over because that's what you're going to project out and that's what's going to come back to you, okay? Say them over and over, you guys, until you believe them. And borrow our belief in you until you believe in yourself, okay? So thank you.